All right, so in this video, we're going to start working with map layouts, and I just wanted to walk through some of the basics uh, that we have to work with uh, when we're working with map layouts. Um, what I'm looking up here is this is tutorial 3, 3-3, and I'm just going to kick us off by setting up, uh, say I wanted to create a map of a particular state, um, and I need that to be like a nice printed product. Uh, I, of course, would be starting with maybe a view like this. And uh, let's say, for example, I want to create a map for California. I'm just going to go ahead and zoom in on California real quick. And, um, you know, up until this point in the course, you've worked with creating maps by taking screenshots and exporting them and say a JPEG. Uh, and what we're going to do now is we're going to get a little more sophisticated here. And we're going to add things like north arrows and uh, legends and scale bars and those sorts of things. And so to do that, um, I can simply go to my insert menu here, my insert tab. And you'll notice here, you know, we've worked a lot with this, right? This is the new map uh, button. But if I want, I can also add a layout. And so if I expand this new layout button here, I'll see I've got a whole bunch of different options for uh, essentially uh, the, the size of the page that I'm going to build my map on. And in this case, I'm going to go ahead and select um, from the ANSI landscape group, just this letter size landscape. And when I do that, ArcGIS Pro is going to build me a new tab and it's going to look like a print preview. So I can see I've got my rulers on the uh, top here and on the left. And what I'll need to do next is I just need to add a map. So, you know, in my current project right now, I've got two. I've got this arts employment map and I've got this cost of living index. And so if I select now, um, if I, I'll notice here that my options under the insert tab have changed. I'll have this option here to add a map frame. So I'm going to go ahead and expand that. One thing you'll notice is that I'm not only seeing that I can add maps from either the arts employment map or the cost of living index, but I've also got my, um, a few bookmarks that I've already set up here. So let's go ahead and add um, the uh, arts employment map. And so that'll begin drawing on my screen. And we'll see that it's grabbing the current extent that I had active in my arts employment. If I wanted to go back and just make sure that I could always get back to kind of this view, what I could have done here is simply set up a new bookmark, which I'll do just quickly here. I'll call this one California. And I'll click back on this layout two. And let's go ahead and rename the tab here. So I'm going to rename layout two. I'll call this my California map. And we'll see that under the map frame, I also see the items that I had uh, in there in terms of as layers, which is helpful because this is where I can begin pulling stuff for say my legend. And um, I have also got these other options here. So one of the things that you'll be doing is adding things like North Arrow scale bars, legends, and those sorts of things. And those are pretty easy. Um, I can certainly just click on any of these to have them added directly to the map. Uh, so let's go ahead and start with the North Arrow. If I just click on this first um, option up here, I won't see the options that I have available um, if I expand this option a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and um, let's see, I'll just go ahead and pick a little bit of, um, let's go with this guy. That'll drop a north arrow, which I can easily move around on the page and reposition. Uh, as soon as I have the north arrow active, I also see that I have a whole bunch of options over here on the north or on the uh, right hand side of my screen. Um, I've got this format north arrow pane open now and there's there's a ton of stuff that I can do if I wanted to continue to modify and build out the symbol a bit. I'll just leave it as it is for now. I'm going to do the same thing with scale bar. I'm just going to drop a scale bar on my map. And one thing you'll note about my scale right now is that it's it's got kind of these odd breaks. Um, I can easily change this by, just by expanding the size of it. So if I select it again, I'll be able to say make it just a bit longer here and um, it's pretty smart about how it sets up the brakes and eventually I'm just gonna I'm just gonna set it so it's uh, 0 to 500 in this case. Let's see if I can get that. 
All right, so now that I've got my scale bar set up for now, um, next thing I might want to do is go ahead and add a title. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and select this dynamic text option. You can also just select the text option, which is basically like dropping a, um, a block of text directly on the map that you've been, you can add it. But um, for this, I'm going to use dynamic text, which means that it's going to pull the name of the map actually from the map name. So let's go ahead and try that and see what that looks like. And since for this map, uh, it, we have a name called Arts Employment, it's pulling that directly from this title. And you'll see that when I have it selected down here, I also have this uh, format text. And in the dynamic text box, I can actually, uh, so you know, in this case, it's not really helpful to have the um, name of map content there, so I'm just gonna delete it which will leave me with the map name. And of course, I can go ahead and further change some of the options in terms of um, symbolizing the, um, the title. So for example, I'll pick uh, maybe Arial, and I can change the size, maybe I'll make that a little larger. I can do, say, 18 points, hit apply. And you get the idea. So you can continue to work with your map. Uh, let's add one more item here. Let's go ahead and add a legend. We'll drop that on the map. And I'm just going to go ahead and draw a box uh, here in this lower left hand corner. That'll take a second to render. And when it does, I'll have my legend. And one thing that you're no you should notice over here too is that as I've been adding each one of these elements, you'll see they're popping up here under my California map. And so I can, for example, with the legend, I can expand this a bit. And if I, you know, want to uh, work with, uh, I don't know, for say, let's say, just want to make sure metropolitan employment's not showing up, or um, you know, I wanted to perhaps reposition uh, how these are being shown in my legend, I can do that as well. So I'm pretty close to done here. Uh, you know, I have, again, th this is really just scratching the surface in terms of options. Um, I haven't added really any information about the source of my data. I don't have any descriptive text. These are all things that I potentially might want to consider adding to my map. Um, I might also work with the legend a little bit and uh, maybe clean it up and make it a little uh, more legible because right now it's, it's pretty smushed in terms of how it's being rendered in the current space and if I wanted to I could also get rid of kind of this uh, neat line that it's placed around the legend uh, or turn the entire legend uh, background to white or something like that just to make it a little easier to read and uh, but otherwise that, that's kind of the basics of layout um, they're they're really a valuable tool oh, one other thing I'll show real quick is um, you probably have noticed uh, if you've started to work with legend or with layers that um, you know, when you're navigating uh, around the page, you're really navigating the entire um, print window here. And so if you, if you wanted to, so for example, you'll notice here that my California is getting kind of chopped off at the top. If I wanted to adjust that, um, but I didn't want to leave um, you know, this, um, this layout window, I can actually click activate here. And what that's going to do is it's going to turn everything else sort of gray, right? So it's kind of showing me that now I can manipulate um, the actual map itself. And I can, say, drag California down a little bit to fit a bit better. And now, so it's not getting chopped off at the top. And I can click this um, red X over here, which is going to close my activated map frame. And then I should be good to go. So I'm going to stop there, uh, but definitely kind of explore the features of layouts a bit. And um, like I said, there's a lot you can do um, and uh, have fun exploring.